Vanessa Buckland here at Pondray County Insurance in Conrad, Montana. Prior to starting this agency, which I started in 2013, I was a commercial and agriculture lender. And so it was, would be about 2012. I had just gotten out of a loan committee and I was really frustrated with just some of the, I, don't, I was starting to feel maybe a little bit of a glass ceiling and just a little frustrated with how things were going. And I remember vividly sitting in my office in tears just from frustration. And I thought, you know, it was a, it was a big moment for me because I thought, well, you know, Vanessa, you're the only one that can do something about this. And you can either just put your nose to the grindstone and keep plugging away because you're getting a good paycheck, it's steady, it's security, or you can exchange that for entrepreneurship and virtually bank on yourself and you know try to make it on your own. Knowing what I know now, I don't regret at all. Like this was the best decision I made. It was um, scary to exchange security for entrepreneurship, but I would definitely tell myself, I think that one of the biggest things was that nothing can replace hard work, nothing. So there's no shortcuts in anything that you wanna achieve. Um, you know, no one just gets a lucky break just for the heck of it. It's hard work and dedication. And so I think I would remind myself of that and I would go all in because um, I think something in my mind all the time was that failure isn't an option. Uh, again, I was the breadwinner. I had three kids under age seven and I just, they were depending on me to make it. So I would say that, you know, when people have like a back door or a plan B, that's great and it's a good, you know, contingency planning tool, but I think that it allows them to fall back instead of fall forward. And I would tell myself fall, fall forward because you will make mistakes and I did. I had lots of failures, but that's what I learned from and that's what made me grow. So the name of my book is The Penultimate Step. And the penultimate step is actually the second to last step, primarily in um, track and field and the long jump event. It's the second to last step before you jump. And um, I, I see penultimate steps in my whole career, my whole journey, and everyone's journey. Like it's important to have a good approach, a good preparation for your launch. And um, so it's just that memoir kind of going through different penultimate steps in my life and um, really recognizing that some of the greatest treasures in our life are actually not found at the finish line at all, but rather all along the way. One of our biggest activities is we started a kids triathlon. It's called the End Hunger Games to play off, you know, End Hunger, Hunger Games. And we try to promote just awareness and um, we try to raise money for the nonprofit organization, No Kid Hungry and it's been wildly successful. We've done it for four years and we're able to write grants for it because of that activity. We've raised over $20,000 for our Montana chapter of No Kid Hungry. So we're really proud of that because we wanna make a positive impact in the community. And I think that I, when people think of PCI, I want them to think about like active community members. I'm totally, I'm humbled and honored because I know a lot of those women and actually I nominated some of those women um, in the past. I just admire them so much. I look up to them, they're mentors, they're wonderful people, and I'm just, I'm so thrilled, and especially since I'm in Conrad. It's just really cool that, you know, they're recognizing people outside of the Great Falls area. So I'm really happy, thank you. <laughs>